Good morning to all of you. Let us start today's yoga session with starting prayer, three long omkar and shanti mantra. Please sit in any comfortable position and gently close your eyes. Have a gentle smile on your face. Relax the shoulders. Just observe the breathing to avoid distractions, other thoughts. Join your hands at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Inhale deeply. with the left palm. Inhale, slightly lean backward. As you exhale, bend forward, surrender to the great divine yoga and yoga masters. Inhale, come back to center. Release the hands, gently rub your palms. Make them warm. And cup your palms, put them around the eyes. Gentle massage on the forehead, facial muscles, and neck muscles. Gently opening your eyes. We'll start today with standing position. Slowly come up, standing position. First practice, giant loosening. Wrist stretch up and down, legs slightly apart. Slowly stretch out the arms in front of the body and stretch the wrists down, all fingers together, knuckle joints tight, with breathing. While inhaling, slowly stretch the wrists up and tighten the forearm muscles. While exhaling, stretch the wrists down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Continue the practice. Keep your eyes closed and keep the knuckle joints straight, your elbows straight, only wrist joints are moving up and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more rounds. This practice opens up the wrist joints Release the strain from the wrists, forearm muscles. One last time. Inhale, exhale. Slowly start the practice. Bring your awareness to the wrists. Absorb the changes and relax. Next practice, wrist ankle stretch. 
breathing practice. Keep your legs slightly apart, about four to six inches, and bring the hands and the thighs. While inhaling, slowly stretch your ankles and hands together up. While exhaling, bring your hands and ankles together down. Keep your eyes open and fix your eyes on single object. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue the practice. As you inhale, stretch your heels and hands together up. As you exhale, bring them together down. Continue. Inhale. Exhale. Five more rounds. Keep doing. Synchronize the breathing with the hand movements and the ankle movements. Excellent practice for the ankle joints, toes, and the soles of the feet. Two more rounds. One last round. After this round, final pose. Now we are going to hold the final position. Inhale, stretch your hands and ankles together up. We stay here for about 15 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Slowly bring your hands and ankles together down. Relax. Gently close your eyes after each practice. Just a few seconds, observe the changes. Observe the wrist joints and the ankle joints and the shoulder joints. Relax them. Next practice for the knee joints, knee rotation. Keep your legs apart about one feet and place the palms on your knees. Slowly bend them and bring them together. Slowly start rotating your knee joints inwards to outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look forward and keep your back concave in opposite direction. So don't scoop your back. So try to keep your back diagonally. Outwards to inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly start the practice. Relax the knee joints. After this joint loosening practice, now warm up practice, side bending with fingers interlocked. Spread your legs apart about one and a half feet to two feet. Inhaling, raise the arms up, interlock the fingers, palms facing upwards. First inhale, as you exhale, slowly and laterally bend towards your right side. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale towards your left side. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's continue your practice. Keep your eyes open. Keep the knee joints straight and your elbow joint straight, lateral bending. Don't bend forward like this, lateral bending. 
without scooping your back, gradually increase the speed now. Feel the stretches on the sides of the body and synchronize the breathing with the practice. Slow down the practice, slow down. Now, final pose. Slowly bend towards your right side and hold it for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Inhale, towards the left side. Slowly and laterally bend towards your left as much as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. And exhale, slowly release the hands. Gently close your eyes. Now allow the mind to absorb the changes. Go for deep breathing. Inhale and exhale. After a short relaxation, now forward and backward bending, breathing and asana. Bring your legs together in samasthiti. Then keep your legs apart about one feet and bring the arms on the waist. While inhaling, slowly start bending backward from the lower back. While exhaling, bend forward from the hip joints and drop your hands and head down. Inhale all the way up and bend backward. Exhale, bend forward. Let's continue the practice. Keep your eyes open and associate the breathing with the practice. We'll practice 12 to 15 rounds, repetitions. And keep the knee joints tight. Those who have lower back issues, so you can bend your knee joints, or you can avoid extreme forward bending. Feel the stretches in the entire leg muscles, lower back muscles, and the hip muscles. Now gradually increase the speed a little faster with breathing, along with the practice, with breathing also becoming faster. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Slow down the practice, slow down. Reduce the speed. Now we are moving to asana. We are going to hold the pose. Slowly bend forward and drop your hands down, head down. Hold this position. This is Pada Hastasana, hand to feet pose. Feel the stretches in the calf muscles, behind the knee joints, hamstrings, hips, slightly in the lower back. Total concentration on your breathing. After complete exhalation, inhale, bring the arms on the waist, slowly bend backward. Open up the chest in the final pose. Keep contracting your shoulder blades, knee joints tight, drop your head back.
deeply connect your mind with the breathing. No tense around the neck. Keep your eyes open. Now exhale, slowly come to upright position. Release the hands and relax in Shikila Tadasana. Gently close your eyes. After each practice, listen to your body. Entire leg muscles, chest, neck and abdominal muscles have been stretched by this practice. Experience it and relax. After a sufficient relaxation, <clears throat> next practice we will do. Balancing pose, Virabhadrasana series. This is also called aeroplane pose. Bring your legs together and step out your right leg forward. So, firmly place your right foot on the ground. Inhale, slowly raise the arms sideways until your shoulder level. Slowly start bending forward, lift your left hand and bring the entire body parallel to the ground. Airplane pose. We stay here about 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back. Same practice with left leg. Step out your left leg. Bring the body weight on the left foot. Inhale, place the arms sideways. Exhale, slowly start bending forward. Entire body weight on your left leg. So hold this position about 10 counts or five to six slow breaths. Open up the chest, look forward, keep the knee joints tight, stretch out the toes. Entire body weight on your left leg. Exhale, slowly come back and relax. Excellent practice. This strengthens the knee joints, improves the body balance. It strengthens the arms too. Let us move on to sitting position practices. Slowly come to sitting position. <clears throat> Stretch out your legs. The first practice we'll start with ankle rotation practice. So you can take your hand support, legs apart about one feet and bring your big toes close to each other. Stretching them forward, slowly rotate the ankles inwards to outwards. One, 10, 10 rounds. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, keep the knee joints tight. Eight, gently close your eyes. Nine, ten, backwards in opposite direction. Continue. Gently close your eyes and complete one round with one cycle of inhalation and exhalation. Keep doing with your breathing and the practice. Inhale, exhale. What are the changes happening? The ankles, the knee joints consciously observe. Three more rounds. One last time. Gently stop the practice. Just tap your legs on the ground for more relaxation. Feel the warmth at the ankles and the knees after this practice. Next practice we will do Bhunavanasana. 
spinal twisting. So bring your legs together. Keeping your entire back and neck straight. First inhale deeply. While exhaling, with your hand support, slowly twist the entire middle part of the body towards your left side without lifting your hips, especially left side of the hip. And twist, twist, twist as much as you can. Inhale, come back to center and exhale towards your left side. Again, without lifting your right side hip. Inhale, exhale. Continue the practice without moving your entire lower part of the body. Just you're twisting your middle part of the body and the entire spine. Take your breathing. As you exhale, twist the body towards your right and left. While inhaling, bring your body to the center. If you're comfortable, increase the speed. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Slow down the practice, slow down. Reduce the speed. After practicing towards your left side, gently start the practice. Relax in Shitala Dandasana. Keep your legs apart. Place your hands behind the back, drop your head back, gently close your eyes. This is a relaxation pose for seating, sitting position practices. Next practice, forward stretch with legs apart. Sarita Paschimottranasana, breathing practice. You spread your legs as apart as possible. Keep your back and neck straight, the knee joints straight. Just place your palms on the floor. So first inhale, while exhaling, slowly bend forward and slide your hands fully forward. If you're comfortable, bring your forehead to the ground. Inhale, slowly come back to center and exhale. Stretch, stretch and bend forward. Inhale. Slide them back, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's continue the practice. If you're comfortable, keep your eyes closed. Inhale, exhale. Coordinate the breathing with the practice. Gradually increase the speed. Make the practice a little faster. Excellent practice. Makes the spine flexible. Brings strength to the entire leg muscles, knee joints. Slow down the practice. Slow down. Now reduce the speed. We are moving to asana. Slowly spread your arms, hold your big toes, or ankle joints, or calf muscles, wherever you can. Stay here, final pose. Slowly drop your head towards the floor. So keep the knee joints straight. Keep bending. While holding this asana, gently close your eyes. Deeply connect your mind with the breathing and experience the stretches. The entire leg muscles, hips. Inhale, slowly come back. Release the hands. Relax and shitila dandasana. Seated relaxation pose. Now allow the mind to observe the changes. 
Feel the entire leg muscles, especially calf muscles and the inner thigh muscles. After the sufficient relaxation, the next practice we will do <clears throat> camel pose, Ushtrasana. So we slowly come to Vajrasana first. Vajrasana or uh, stand on your knees. Keep your legs apart about one feet. First half camel pose with the hand support. Bring your arms on the waist, lower back. While inhaling, start bending backward from the lower back, hip joints. This is half camel pose. Full camel pose. You're going to place your hands on the heels. You stay here about six to eight slow breaths. Drop your head back, no tense around the neck in the final pose. Engage the core abdominal muscles. Deeply connect your mind with the breathing. Observe the body balance. Push the lower back, hips forward. Stretch the entire front part of the body. Once you're done, exhale, slowly come to a upright position and slowly sit back on your heels. Come back to Vajrasana, Thunderbolt pose. Allow the mind to observe the changes after this camel pose, Ushtrasana. From Vajrasana, we will do Shashankasana, child's pose. So please keep your entire back and neck straight. Slowly take your hands back, catch your right wrist with the left palm, relax the shoulders. While inhaling, slowly bend backward slightly while exhaling. So first bring your abdomen to the thighs, then chest towards the knees, then forehead to the ground. Stay here about five to six slow breaths. Relax the shoulders, no tightness in the shoulders. Rest your forehead on the ground. Loosen the facial muscles. Shashankasana. The modification you can practice with Sukhasana also. Criss-cross pose. So you can add to uh, uh, Vajrasana. Uh, inhale, first lift your forehead, then separate your chest from the knees and separate your four uh, abdominal muscles with the thighs. Release the hands, place your hands on the knees, relax. Excellent relaxation pose. Shashankasana, experience the changes. Blood circulation flowing back from head region to the towards the heart, observe and relax. Now, supine position practices. Slowly release the legs from the Vajrasana and lie down on your back for supine pose. Relax the entire body. First practice. So we'll start with Anantasana breathing practice, side leg rising. For this, slowly roll on to your right side and support your head with your right hand. Shashank, uh, Anantasana breathing and place your left hand in front of the chest, left leg on the right. Once you're comfortable, while inhaling, slowly raise your left leg sideways up as high as possible, up to 90 degree. 
Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Let's continue with the practice. Practice 10 rounds, then final pose. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 9, 10. Now final pose. Inhale, raise your left leg up. So hold this. If you're comfortable, hold your left leg or you can hold the left big toe. This is Anantasana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly. Please the asana. Roll on to your backside. Let us repeat the same practice. Other side. So roll on to the left side. So I'm facing towards the camera. Support your head with the left hand and bring your right leg over the left. Place your right hand in front of the chest to balance the body. Once you are ready, Inhale, slowly raise your right leg up as high as possible. Exhale, down. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Continue. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Final pose. Inhale, raise your right leg up. You can hold from the knee, knee joint, uh, calf muscles. If you're comfortable, you can hold the big toe of your right leg. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly release the asana and roll on to your backside. Relax. Relax in any comfortable position, like slightly apart. and go for deep breathing. Experience the changes in the lower part of the body, especially in the leg muscles, in the hips, and the inner thigh muscles. After a short relaxation. Next practice we will do. Both leg raising up to 30 degree. Bring your legs together. Hands, take your palms under the hip joints or hips. While inhaling, slowly raise your both legs together up to 30 degree. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue the practice. About 12 rounds. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, just relax the entire leg muscles. We are going to hold this asana. Slowly raise your both legs to 30 degree, hold for 10 counts. Touch out the toes. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly bring your legs to the ground. Take out the palms, relax, legs apart. Hands slightly away from the body, palms facing up. Gently close your eyes. And deep breathing, inhale and exhale. After a short relaxation, now Pavana Muktasana with both legs. Just bring your legs together. Slowly raise your both legs to 90 degree and fold your legs. Clasp your hands around the legs. Suppose if you are unable to interlock the fingers around the knees and inside, it just you can interlock the hands, fingers inside, inside, outside here. So it will be easy. So those who are able to interlock, so please go ahead around the knees. Once you are ready, Inhaling, slowly raise your head and chest up and press the legs towards the chest. Exhale, slowly come back. Inhale, repeat the practice. 10 rounds, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Keep your eyes closed. Keep doing for 10 rounds. Excellent practice for the neck muscles, abdominal muscles and the lower back. Three more rounds. Two more rounds. Synchronize the breathing with the practice. One last round. Now, final pose. Inhale, keep breathing, maintain regular breathing and stretch out the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly rest your head down, release the hands, straighten your legs at 90 degree, exhale. Relax in Shavasana. Legs apart, hands slightly away from the body. This is a relaxation pose for supine position practices. Just move your head to the right and left to relax the neck muscles. Next asana, we will do bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. Bring your legs together, hands by the side, samasthiti. Fold your legs at knee level. And bring the heels as close to the hips as possible for this bridge pose. Legs apart about one feet, hands by the side. So first we will do repetition, about 10 rounds and final pose. Inhaling, slowly lift your entire back up. Then exhale slowly, come back to the ground. Inhale, exhale. Continue the practice for 10 rounds. Softly close your eyes. Synchronize the breathing as usual with the practice. While moving your entire back up, Press the hands down, take your hand support. Four more rounds. Excellent back strengthening, knee strengthening practice. Inhale, exhale, check the breathing. One last round. After this round, final pose, bridge pose. Inhale, lift your entire back up. Rest your head on the ground. Stay here. If you're comfortable, lift your heels up. Just you're holding this asana with toes. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly, rest your entire back on the ground. Tighten your legs tight onto the ground. Relax in Shavasana. Gently close your eyes. Loosen all the muscles and all the joints. Then experience the changes. Feel the warmth at the knee joints. Experience the stretches in the hamstrings, the hips and the legs. After these practices, we are moving to DRT, deep relaxation. Please lie down on your back. I will be giving instructions in sitting position. <clears throat> Lie down on your back comfortably. Gently close your eyes. Once check the position from toes to head, legs apart, hands slightly away from the body with palms facing upwards. Gently close your eyes. Make yourself comfortable and relax the whole body from toes to head. Mentally scan your body from toes to head. There will be no tense, tightness in the muscles, in the joints. Let it be completely relaxed. In this deep relaxation technique, we are going to relax each and every part of the body from toes to head. Bring your awareness to the tip of the toes. Relax them consciously. Relax the soles of your feet. Relax the heels. Loosen the ankle joints. Feel the calf muscles. Mentally relax them. Gently pull up the kneecaps. Tighten your knee joints once. Feel the tense. Release and relax. Relax the hamstrings. Compress and squeeze the hip muscles, the buttock muscles in. Release and relax. Loosen the hip joints. Then relax the entire pelvic region. Now the lower part of the body from toes to waist is completely relaxed. For more relaxation to the lower part of the body, we are going to chant Akara, A sound, one time. While chanting, feel the vibrations in the lower part of the body as well as in the chest region. Inhale. Feel the vibrations in the lower part of your body and relax. Bring your awareness to the abdomen. 
Feel the abdominal muscles consciously and relax them. Then bring your awareness to the rib cage, the entire chest cavity. Relax. Shift your attention to the back. Once feel the entire back muscles, which are nicely connected with the ground. Relax the lower back and middle back muscles. Consciously feel the entire spine and relax. Close on the shoulder blades, then relax the entire upper back muscles. Bring your mind to the fingertips. Relax the fingers and palms. Mentally feel the wrist joints and forearm muscles. Relax them. And relax the elbows and triceps, biceps muscles. Relax the shoulder joints and neck muscles. Slowly turn your head towards right and left. Again, bring your head back to the center. Now the middle part of the body from waist to neck is totally relaxed, completely relaxed. To enhance the relaxation, we are going to chant Ukara, U sound after deep inhalation. Inhale. Feel the vibrations of Ukara in the middle part of the body and the legs. Let's relax the head region, relax the chin and lips. Swallow a little bit of saliva and relax the entire throat and the tongue. Bring your awareness to the cheeks. Feel the heaviness of your cheeks and relax. Relax the nostrils, then the eyeballs, eyelids and eyebrows. Relax the forehead and entire facial muscles. For more relaxation to the head region, bumblebee sound, makara chanting, after deep inhalation, Produce the sound to the nostrils and feel the vibrations in the head region. Inhale. Mm. Feel the divine vibrations in the head region and the legs. Now the whole body from toes to head completely relaxed. Let us emphasize the whole body relaxation by combining all these three sounds in one breath. A Uma chanting three times. This time we will chant three times. Inhale. Ah. 
Last round. Feel the vibrations of A, O, Ma throughout the body and relax. Feeling the lightness of the body, enjoy the relaxation. All the muscles are so relaxed. The mind is calm and quiet. Mentally feel the entire body from toes to head. Just be with your breath. Slow. Bring your awareness to the tip of the toes. Slightly move your toes and move your fingers. Just do not open your eyes. Bring your legs together. Fold your left leg and slowly raise your right hand above the head on the ground. Turn towards your right side. Roll on to your right side or left side. Try to come to sitting position without opening your eyes. So take your time. Slowly come to sitting position for pranayama practices. They sit in any comfortable position, Sukhasana, Vajrasana, Padmasana, any comfortable position. Today, we'll practice right nostril and left nostril, single nostril breathing. So first we'll practice left nostril breathing. <clears throat> so please adapt Nasika Mudra. Put your index and middle finger. Close your right nostril with the right thumb finger. So only left nostril breathing, we are going to do five rounds. Completely exhale through left nostril. Inhale through left nostril slowly. And exhale through same nostril slowly. This makes one round, four more rounds. Keep doing. Keep your eyes closed. Very slowly and deeply inhale through left nostril. Slowly and completely exhale through left nostril. One last round. After complete exhalation, gently start the practice. This is left nostril breathing, Chandra Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. Now, right nostril breathing. Surya Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. Surya is the left nostril, left, uh, right nostril is Surya. We have two nadis in the nostrils. Left nostril is Chandra Nadi and right nostril is Surya Nadi. So it, re it represents heat of the body. 
So anuloma, viloma. Anuloma is inhalation and viloma is exhalation. Again, adapt Nasika Mutra. This time, close your left nostril with the ring and little finger. Completely exhale the right nostril. Inhale the right nostril slowly. And exhale the right nostril very slowly. We'll practice five rounds. Keep doing. A rhythmic breathing. And make your exhalation is longer than the inhalation. No tense or tightness around the neck region. Practice in a relaxed way. Deeply connect your mind with the breathing. One last round. After complete exhalation, slowly stop the practice. Because of time, we have done five, five rounds. So whenever you practice on your own, so whenever you have a time, you can practice from nine rounds to 27 rounds, depending on your uh, comfortable. So minimum nine rounds. So maximum, you can go up to 20, 27 rounds on each side. Now we will do Nadi Shuddhi Pranayam, alternate nostril breathing practice, Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Again, adapt Nasi Kamudra. Close your right nostril with the right thumb finger. Completely exhale through left nostril. Inhale through left nostril slowly. Close your left nostril and exhale through right nostril. Inhale through same nostril, right nostril. Close it and exhale through left nostril. This makes one round. We'll practice five rounds. Let's continue. Breathe as slow as possible. As usual, make your each exhalation is longer than the inhalation. Avoid the distractions. If the mind jumps into the distractions, bring it back to your breath again and again. This practice makes the mind calm. Avoid the distractions controls the thoughts, unnecessary thoughts. What last time? After this round, while exhaling through left nostril, slowly start the practice. Keep your eyes closed. After the practice, absorb the state of your mind. So this practice also can be done from nine rounds to 27 rounds. So maintain
the same state of the mind, the blissful, peaceful and balanced state of the mind throughout the day. Now we will conclude this session with one Om Kar and ending prayer. Please join your hands at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Sarve Bhavanto Sukhina Sarve Santo Niramaya Sarve Bhatra Nipashanto Makashcheto Kava Agbhave Om Shantashantashantehi release the hands, take them back, catch your right wrist with the left palm, inhale, slightly lean backward, bend backward, as you exhale, bend forward, surrender to the Mother Earth, great divine, yoga and yoga masters, inhale, slowly come back to center, release the hands, gently rub your palms, generate the heat between the palms. Top your palms, put them around the eyes. Feel the warmth around the eyes. Then gentle massage on the forehead, facial muscles, and neck muscles. Keep looking at the palms with few blinks, gently opening the eyes. Thank you and have a wonderful day.